We live? I think we're live. We're live. What is going on guys? It is JD here back with another 2K21 My Team stream. Shout out to the pre-match gang. Shout out to everyone who was waiting already. Jinxed Mohammed, Cole was good, Diamond Gang, Yezer, Justin, Eric, how you doing today, buddy? And Mo, welcome, welcome. Uh, thank you guys for coming through. Notifications gone live as well. Good start. Very good start to the day. Cohen, hello. How's it going, buddy? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Uh, TFG, welcome. Alex, Papa, Isaiah, hello. Thank you very much for coming through today, boys. So, I've had a little look today, and I was trying to find out, is there any, like, easy agenda challenges we could do while doing domination and the answer realistically is no right now um so pff, the playoff underdogs things that there's not much xp here and there's not much xp that we actually do in domination so matumbo is like 100k still so i ain't affording him anytime soon so we're just gonna go in and we're just gonna get some dubs so this is the squad that i'm gonna use uh heisenberg what's good welcome back took a few days off from the game to readjust and i'm getting back into it today good stuff man i'm gonna start refresh mindset bro i think that's what i tried to do yesterday i think i've just mentally like reset myself that was a plan anyway and hopefully we can keep it going today uh but yeah this is the team we're gonna use um gus williams just for the speed he's gonna be our main offense casey for defense scotty for defense Shaq for defense and just Derek favors because because Derek favors really really uh I guess we could put Zion in there for a little bit more offense as well. So if you missed yesterday, we won two games of domination. We won our first game of historic. So the plan is to keep going in historic domination. Let's get it. Uh, Ian, hello. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming through today. Charlie was good. Do I think I'll get curry? No, I'm not trying to get curry, bro. I'm not trying. I'm not even going to get close. I ain't even going to get close. I'm going to get my ascension board tomorrow because today is Wednesday. Yes, it is. Um, we've got two videos coming today. First one is going to be a 25,000 MT squad builder, which I've already recorded and which will be, go will be going live um, a little bit after we've finished um, with today's YouTube stream. And then we'll have the second video, which will be a no money spent because we're making some big moves. And I mean some big moves because you, you guys are the OG. So I'm, I'm going to tell you, we've sold John Stockton. Well, um, in the process of selling John Stockton, and then tonight we're going to buy Brandon Roy, uh, because Brandon Roy, as you guys have told me, uh, his, his challenges are so easy for 2,500 XP. So he alone will basically get us to the Ascension board, which is perfect. So buying Brandon Roy will be tonight's video. Tomorrow is going to be the Ascension board. Friday will be the new content. Uh, and then a the weekend, who knows. But we've got 25k squad going out tonight. And uh, yeah, feeling good. Feeling good. Patrick, hello. Welcome to the stream today. Thank you for coming through. Um, ben Simmons for power forward, true actually, yeah, I, I'm sure I've got him, maybe I just didn't see him in my squad, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure I've got him though, doesn't he, trying to get to the level 30 ascension, I'm sure you can get there bro, we've still got another two and a half weeks of this, um, of this season to go guys, so still a long way, still a long way to go, it's definitely not over just yet, and there definitely will be some big, um, XP amounts coming out soon, I would imagine, I would imagine, Scott, hello, welcome to the stream today buddy, how are you doing? Uh, Logan as well, don't worry at all about being late, buddy. We only just got going. Uh, I appreciate you coming through today. Oh, is this a small forward? Ah, that'd be why. That'd be why I don't see him at the powerful position. That makes sense. That makes sense. Right, let's see how this play can keep us going today. See if it can uh, keep getting us some nice easy buckets, which it looks like it's going to. Let's get it. I have was good, Jay. Hello. Uh, TFG, like I said in the Discord, bro. Uh, it'll be, I don't know, maybe Friday at the earliest, but we'll see. I will let everybody know when I know. KC, that's not a good shot to take, is it? That's not a good shot to take. I'm glad I didn't take that. <laughs> Needs to do more homework when playing Among Us all morning. How have you been finding it, Logan? How's it been going? I've downloaded it. I bought it earlier. It's so cute that Among Us, for the entirety of its game, is it was downloaded, it was 50 meg, right? The patch for 2K was 22 gig. Like, bro, mad. Easy game was good. Welcome to the stream. Don't even run to play. Just run past defender with Gus and try a with everyone. Yeah, that's chill. Very nice. If there's anything like that first game yesterday, easy stuff. Clip, hello, welcome to the stream. Liam, hello, welcome. Thank you for coming through. Andreas as well was good. Good to see you coming through today. Appreciate that. So the plan is we're going to try and get through three games in this stream. Um... Looks like we can just run with Gus Williams right here. 
Easy enough. Uh, yeah, we're going to try and get through uh, three, uh, which will put us one game away from completing the first division uh, in Historic, which is nice, because I think you get quite a lot of tokens, don't you? Let's go, Scotty Pippin. Let's go, Scotty Pippin. It's not going to go, but it doesn't matter. Big Boy Shaq is there on the rebounds and with the bucket. Let's go. Kylin, hello. Welcome to the stream. Ian, yes, sir. I agree. Parker, hello. Kylin was good. Uh, Twitch tonight, yes, guys. Don't worry about that. We'll be live. Let me just put that into the chat right now. Twitch tonight. That's JD. Twitch.tv slash JD underscore crossover. And like I said, we've got two YouTube videos coming on today as well. I think this is going to be the first double upload. No, it's not, because I've done a few double uploads already. I said that last time when I forgot. Um, it's it's a, the first double upload in a while on the main channel. MJ, hello. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Thank you very much for coming through. Hope you're having a good day. I hope everybody's having a good week. If you're grinding 2k, what are you grinding for? I know people have got the curry, which is wild. I know there's uh, TJ's got it, and I know that print parachute guy was the world's first at getting it. Dude, how, 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 how have they done this? I don't understand. Aiden, SD, what's good? Welcome to the stream. Literally like every XP challenge, even like the most frustrating ones they must have done. Fair play. Fair play. But now... Like, there's 17 days left. What are they going to do? <laughs> what are they going to do for 17 days? I never understand the obsession with being first. I get that it's good for views and content, but I don't know. I always think of it as like a someone who doesn't know life this game. Like, what's the point in completing something for that long? I guess they can then just ball out in Unlimited, I guess. But any XP challenge, there's no point in them doing it. But uh, Which playbook am I using? Ian, I am using the Mavs playbook for the quick... 15 hammer play. That's what I'm doing. Um, people have curry, Maddox? Yeah, two people that I know of have curry. Um, I'm sure there's probably others in the world, but... I don't know, actually. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about that. I would hope nobody else in the world does, because the two people that have got it are content creators, and if you're not a content creator, then you shouldn't have it, because you should not be playing this game that much if you ain't no content creator. But I don't know, maybe, maybe people have. I'm not too sure. What happened there? I don't know. Uh, Galaxy was good. Oh, well, I'm glad you're here, but I'm not glad that you're ill. I hope you're doing all right. I hope you're going to be better soon. Can't be the last spot at Channel 7 3s on Superstar. Oh, is that one of the requirements? Damn, that is rough, isn't it? That is rough. So the last spotlight challenge requirement, guys, for the challenge that came out yesterday for the Ruby Evan Turner um, is 7 3 pointers. Seven. That's mad. Uh, I'd like to be done now. I could grind MT. Oh, that's true, actually, Eric. That's true. Yeah, not having to worry about the XP would be uh, very nice. And that's kind of where I'm at right now, which is why I'm happy. Uh, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Like, I'm going to get the Brandon Roy, get his done. But that's just because it's 2.5k, and that's really easy. And that's going to get me the Ascension Board tomorrow. Like I said, that's kind of been the plan for the videos. Uh, but then after that, that next 10k that I need for the Diamond Contract, I'm just going to... No rush at all. I'm just going to wait and see what 2k bring out. If they bring out some mad players um, that give like 3,000 XP, I'm chill. Um, if they don't, I'm chill. Uh, you know, we're going to get 3,000 for completing one domination. Or not completing a domination, sorry. Getting 99 stars. Uh, so that's 3,000 XP like off rip, which is perfect. Um, and then other than that, we just need to find another, what, 7,000 XP. Shouldn't be bad. Shouldn't be bad. I'm sure non-content non creators have it. Yeah, that's true. That's true, but you probably just don't see about it. Going for Mike and yeah, I'm gonna. Domination is always a good vibe. Um, it's just the best thing to do at the start of the game, and I'm really annoyed that it's taken me nearly a month to get into it properly because I've been worrying about these stupid XP challenges, which realistically aren't. You know, they're not gonna get anywhere. Like XP is just like XP is temporary, MT is permanent, and at the moment. I ain't got much permanent MT, so I need to get myself some more. Um, LC, hello, welcome to the stream, buddy. Welcome back. My day's going good, my guy. I've already recorded a video, feeling good. Already uploaded a video as well. Um, I haven't put it live, but it is, you know, uploaded, ready to go. Um, and I've already got my idea for my second video of the day. So we're doing good, man. We're doing good. Uh, do the rewards and domination change every season? I, I don't think it is, because I remember reading in their blog, they said... There are going to be more dominations, obviously. Like, at the moment, you can get 297 stars, but there's a lifetime goal for 594. So there's going to be another three dominations added throughout the entirety of the year. 
So it's not going to be every season there's a new domination added, but there will be three more by the end of the year, I think, at minimum. Um, but yeah, should be soon, hopefully. Uh, Aiton, yeah, Twitch stream tonight, bro. In the chat right there. You want to use my... Oh, bro, if you want to let me use it, then I ain't going to say no to that, my guy. I ain't going to say no to that. Uh, Marwin, hello. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming through. Does season two start right after one or a week gap or so? No, Snake. It should be... It should be the the day after. It should be season two will finish in, or season one will finish in seventeen days, which is October the sixteenth, I think. Um, and then as soon as that day hits, the next day should be season two. Whether or not we get any spoilers as to what the season two reward is going to be, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But it's exciting nonetheless that we're going to have another whole batch of rewards to go ahead and grind for, some more ascension board fun to go for, some more. Ooh, I'm actually shot a three and I missed. Oh, and Shaq's let it hit his face. Bruh. Uh, <laughs> some more, like, diamond stuff, hopefully. Uh, Kai was good. Welcome to the stream. What do I think the reward will be? I think it will be a pink diamond. Uh, no, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, it will be a Galaxy Opal. I'll be genuinely amazed if it's another pink diamond. It can't be. It will be a Galaxy Opal. Um, I would imagine it will be a 97 Galaxy Opal rather than 98. Um, I imagine they'll just go up one overall every time. Um... That would be my inclination of it anyway. So 97 rated Galaxy Opal, probably with very big badges and stuff. Is it going to be as big a name as Steph? I guess they kind of have to make it that big of a name to make it uh, to keep people engaged throughout the entirety of the season. So it's, it's going to have to be a very, very powerful card. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know who it's going to be, but I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, Nino, hello. Welcome to the stream. Are we going to start a level of one again? Yes, sir, Cameron. Everybody going to be starting back from nothing. It's going to be a reset. You don't carry over XP. It is just back to day one stuff, man. Back to day one stuff. The XP challenges will disappear. Um, it'll all be gone. It'll all be gone. So, yeah, it's going to be a weird situation on that day. Um, everybody who wants to be first is going to have to no-life it yet again. So uh, I hope they make use of these couple of weeks they've got now uh, before they've got to go no life it again. But yeah, I don't know who it's going to be. Dark Matter, I, it won't be a Dark Matter this early on. L later on in the game, sure. But now, uh, definitely not. Definitely not. Don't play Unlimited. But I really want to play Unlimited for the rewards. But I don't know. I think I need to play it off stream just so I can um, get better, not rage. I don't know. But domination right now is a thing that I can stomach, so I'm more than happy we're playing this on the stream. And we're getting good MT, we're getting along, we're getting tokens, you know, we're building the club, which is good. We're building the club, which is good. Um, and we're going to try and get 4,000 clubs, 4,000 clubs, 4,000 cards for Jason Tatum. No. No. <laughs> Definitely not, bro. 4,000 cards? That's wild. I got, well, what did we get last year? It's 2,900 for... The Galaxy Opal AD, wasn't it? And that was a grind. So now, nah, 4,000 cards. If there were progressive rewards along the way, then maybe. But the fact it literally goes, 2,000 cards is Damian Lillard. And 4,000 is Jason Tatum. Like, why have they left 2,000 cards with no rewards? I don't understand that, but anyways. Uh, Jason, hello. Mr. Dad-to-be. How's it going, buddy? Um, and Reese in here as well. Some games do leave time between seasons, so you never know. Oh, yeah, fair. Maybe they will. I hope they don't, but you never know. Uh, oh, and they, nah, not really. Unless we see the stats. Is his stats already on like, some databases or nah? If they are, I'll take a look. But uh, East Clan, hello. Welcome to the stream. Can we get a congratulations in the chat for Jason, who is the smallest on uh, his username right there? He's a diamond gang, he's a mod, and uh, yesterday he found out he was going to be a dad. My boy is bringing new life into this world. Uh, so yeah, congratulations, buddy. That's huge. Enjoy playing 2K now while you can. Enjoy gaming now while you can, because chances are you're not going to have time to when that little thing comes around. Uh, Hans, how you doing, buddy? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Thank you for coming through, my friend. Hope you're doing well today. Good stuff, everyone. Good looks, everybody, uh, for saying congrats to Jason. I appreciate you saying that to him. And I'm sure he does as well. Good vibes out here, man. Good vibes out here. You love to see it. Ty, hello. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming through. He's going to be a baby mod. Yeah, we'll get his baby as a mod on here. He'll pass the legacy on. 
<laughs> He'll pass a legacy on. Um, you get EA access for 10 hours. Of, oh, yeah, they do that 10 hours of uh, early access, don't they? Which is a... I don't know. It's a weird idea. I guess it's a good idea. I don't know. Uh, Jason will be able to get all the good deals for the auction house at 3 a.m. True. True, true, true. It gets better. I game my six and eight-year-old. That's the thing, bro. It, it wouldn't take long for them to get better. Or to be better than you. Which might be demoralising, but would also be pretty cool. <laughs> get all the early morning deals at 3 a.m. A hey, silver linings to no sleep. Be able to work that auction house, bro. Get that auction house going. Uh, is quick selling shoes worth it now, or do we still not know? I would say wait till season two comes around, Ty. Um, we'll see what the exchange has in store for us on season two. So I wouldn't worry about it just yet. But uh, if you really need the MT, then I'd say discard the bronzes and silvers. But I would say hold on to your gold shoes for the time being. That would be my idea anyway. That would be my advice. That's what I'm doing anyway. I've discarded my bronze and my silver shoes. And I'm keeping all my gold ones that are three-point shoes. Because, you know, three-point shoes always going to be important. Always going to be selling for a little bit more. Um, do I work for 9 to 5 job or is full time? Ah, full time, bro. YouTube and Twitch. And I have been for five months now. So a little while. A little while. A little while. Is the all-time challenges for only this season or the next season as well? All-time challenges. You mean all-time domination? So the dominations are going to stay... The spotlights may go. I'm not sure on the spotlights. I, I think they probably will stay, but they may go. Weekly challenges will go. I think weekly challenges will go because they're tied to XP. So right now, if you do a weekly challenge, I think you get 100 XP for doing the game from one of the uh, XP objectives. So I think the weekly challenges might go. The signature challenges are going to go as well, I think. I think they said they were only like once a season or something like that. I don't know. And can we really appreciate like we're so long into this game now. Well, like good three weeks into this game. The only signature challenge we've had is what we got off rip day one. And that was the Damien Lillard challenge, which was a great challenge. That's not going to twist it, but that's all we've had. <laughs> Why are there not more signature challenges? They made it such a big thing, such a big like new game section. And we had nothing in there. Which sucks. But, I don't know. Hopefully they'll bring more back soon. Uh, triple the offline. Obviously, that is going to completely change. You won't be reset down to one win, I don't think. So, I don't think triple the offline, it resets you. But it adds wins on top of the ladder already. Is that how it works? You guys probably know a bit more about that. But for triple the offline, does it reset you or just add wins on top? I ain't sure. No, it can't be add wins on top because then that would just make it ridiculous. If you didn't start now, I don't know. Uh, what, freelance? I'm not using a freelance, bro. Just the Hawks. Uh, Mavs playbook, sorry. Mavs playbook. Due date is May 20th. Hey, May the 18th is what you want to go for, bro. May the 18th is what you want to get. That's the date. That's, that's sick, though, bro. What is that? Yeah. Damn. See how far that's going to, or how quickly that will come round. You got Dave Bing. I'm very jealous, Luna. I really wanted to get that Dave Bing because uh, he's fantastic. But, uh, well, I just haven't been playing Triple Threat offline for obvious reasons. Maybe we should do nowadays, but meh. Let's play Quick 15 Hammer, Harko. If you're having trouble defending his size, Dikembe causes so many missed shots and a great rebounder. Absolutely. There's a reason why he's still selling for... 400, no, 1,000, 100,000, 1,000, 100,000 MT right now. I did think his price would come down quite a bit, but it hasn't. It's very expensive still. And uh, yeah, like you said, stats-wise and defenders-wise, yeah, very nice. Uh, Mavs playbook, Harko. Mavs playbook, bro. I would say if you can't afford him, if you can't afford that Alonzo Morning, just get yourself um, Tyson Chandler. Very similar cards. Very, very good defensively. Uh, Tyson Chandler is going to give you nothing on the offensive end, but if you're just looking for somebody to block shots, get rebounds, have that gold intimidator in the paint, Tyson Chandler is your guy, and he's nice and cheap as well, and he's seven foot, seven foot, seven foot one. So yeah, Tyson Chandler is good. Uh, the is twice as good as Alonzo. Damn, I still need to sell mine. Oh, we'll actually have a look at Alonzo Morning's price. So like I said, I'm selling John Stockton. I've got him up for a buy price, not put a buy now on him. I'll put him up for a bid price, sorry, of 100k. Hopefully he sells like 110, 120. If not, 
I guess it's whatever, because I want to pick up that Brandon Roy while he's still like 90k. I don't want him to go up much higher, and I think he probably will. So I'll try and get Brandon Roy for 90k, try and sell him back without losing any MT. Um, and then we'll be looking pretty. Then we'll sell back Brandon Roy, and then we'll just have hopefully 150 to 200k to play with. Um, and that's without having much MT in anybody, really. I think our most expensive player... Probably Gus Williams. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, I'll grab block, but it's foul. Probably Gus Williams, who's like 12k, something like that. Uh, does DBG come in here often or not? Uh, not often, no. Every now and then. Every now and then. Um, you got Brandon Roy for 83k. Very nice, Kai. Very nice. I would, I'd like to use him to have him on the team, but at this point of the game, I just don't think it's worth having that much MT in cards. Um, and for a limited, as we found out earlier this week... Uh, we really don't want to have good cards for matchmaking because we're going to get screwed because we're not very good. Um, so if I have good cards and I get match, uh, match up against good players, I'm going to get wrecked. So yeah, budget cards are the way for me. Um, so I can yeah very happily afford to have most of my MT just sitting in the bank and oh, let's go Shaq, what a block. And uh, the rest of my team just being sort of like sapphires and rubies. That's kind of the plan. Ian, catch you later, man. Thank you very much for coming through. Have a good day. Uh, have you been able to do anything to make profit? Not really, Ty. I haven't really been looking into it. I'm sure there's investments that you could make. I think Diamond Shoes are probably a good one to go for as well. But you just don't know with 2K this year. that They could do, you know, the exchange could have a really easy Diamond Shoe thing next month. Where everyone gets one and the prices come plummeting down. They could do a signature challenge for a Diamond Shoe. You just don't know. So I don't know. For the time being, it seems like cards are kind of easy to predict. But not really. I don't know. I don't know. I need to. I need to get back into it more. Do I play my career? I will do on next gen, but not on current gen. Because there's, there ain't no point, bro. I ain't playing. I ain't paying to upgrade my card to grind the badges to use them for like a day, and then next gen comes out. Dang it, chief. VK was good. Welcome to the stream, Navin. Hello, welcome to the stream as well. Glad to hear your day has been good and mine's been good as well, my friend. So I appreciate you coming by. We're just coming to the fourth quarter in our first game of the day. And uh, Historic Domination, like, looking pretty damn easy. Looking pretty damn easy. We're not doing any XP challenges. We're not trying to do anything fancy. We are just getting the dub. And that's all we need to do. So I think Dom is good for tokens. Yes, absolutely, Anya. Um, Eric, you're, you've done all time. Oh, you're on all time, aren't you? So how many tokens do you get in all time domination? Because I don't actually know. Because obviously I'm only in Historic, so I can only tell you what the Historic tokens are. Um, what was my job before YouTube? I was a project manager at a media company, David. And I did that for... I don't know. A bit of time? I can't actually remember. A year and a half? I think? Maybe two years? I don't know. I've tried to forget it, not gonna lie. Um, uh, not gonna lie. All-time Dom is a killer, Darius. Ooh, I'm not excited for it. But I know the rewards are going to be worth it. I know they're going to be worth it. 7, 8, and 15 tokens, says Devin. So what is that? 30? 30 tokens per division, yeah. Damn. Alex, was good. Hope you're having a good day, my friend. Hope you're having a good... So you get 30 teams per division. And then obviously the last three games, uh, you'll get some big tokens. So, damn. And then do you get a token for each win individually as well? You get a token for each win individually as well? Like, so this one you get MT and then two thingies. You get three tokens per team? Jesus. So that's another 93 on the top of that, or 90 on top of that if you're looking just for the division. So if you just do the first 30 teams, you're getting... Oh, man, I struggle with maths. So 30 tokens per division, three, t three tokens per team... So it's six divisions. So that's 150 tokens. And then 30 times three is 90. So 200 of a hey, quick maths, guys. Quick, well, all right, really slow maths. 240 tokens from all time domination. And that's without doing the final three games, which, like I said, I imagine give you probably like 100 on their own. So 240 tokens for that. That's not bad. 
270 tokens for 30 teams. Well, I can't do maths, can I? How is it? How did I get that wrong? I don't know. Oh, maths is hard. Uh, ice cream was good. Welcome to the stream, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Stay in school, kids. 30 times 6 division equals a lot of tokens. Yeah, let's just say it's a lot. 270 tokens for the 30 teams. Okay, so there you go. 270 tokens for 30 teams. Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. And then, like you, like I said, the last three probably get you a lot of tokens on their own. Five ga uh, Final games are 5, 10, and 22. So for the final game, the last games add to 81. Jeez. Okay, so 270 plus 81. So it's roughly 350 tokens for all of all-time Dom. Roughly 350. I mean, that's not bad, is it? That's really good. Um, I'll, I'm say that's definitely got to be worth it. Uh, current day mouse playbook, yes, Anya is indeed. Think Pink Dumb Steph will have an easy big XP challenge next season. Oh, good point, uh, Kai. I don't know. Will they have that crossover? I don't know. I don't know, buddy. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, Panda, hello, welcome to the stream today. Thank you for coming through. We can just take the clock up here, can't we? Lovely stuff. And this is how it was last year. This is more like it. You get an extra 250 on top of the 350 when you complete the whole thing. Do you? Damn. Wait, is that in a lifetime ob objective thingy? You get 250? So you get 600 in total? Bruh. That's wild. Mad. Yeah, Ice Cream will be live on Twitch tonight, bro. We didn't manage to get a dub last night. We didn't manage to do it. Feels bad, bro. We got a lot of bad luck. Yellow, time, yellow team kept selling us. Single online. Uh, Devin, yeah, I got you, bro, I got you. Chill on the caps, man. Chill on the kips. It's in agendas. Oh, right. Well, I'll have a look after this game, but... So that makes it 600 tokens for all-time, Dom? Jesus Christ. That's not bad at all, is it? That's really good. And like Eric said, you get 1,000 MT per game as well. So you're getting MT as well as the tokens. Um, damn. That's mad. Oh, the 250 is for four, 594. Yeah, okay, right. I was going to say, but I don't remember that being there. Oh, uh, yeah. So the, the 250 is when you complete not, uh, six dominations, not for completing three. That makes sense. But it's still, it's still good, though. You're just grinding historic right now? Yeah, that's what I'm on as well, Hans. Are you going to go through all of historic, bro, and then go to all time? Or are you just going to get 33 in historic and then go all time? Because that's my plan. 33 in historic, and then dip over, finish all time, and then come back to historic. That's my plan. That's my plan. Uh, Yao, I did the Kings and Cavs. And they were, at the time, the cheapest. So you can take a look at those two, buddy. Uh, but I don't know if that would have changed now or not. But they were the cheapest at the time. All-time Dom is next level hard. Best players are 97 rated and the rest of the team is 90 plus, says Mark. Damn, that don't sound easy. Sounds like they're going to be hard to stop offensively. That's for sure. Owen, was good? How you doing, bro? We are half an hour into the stream. Thank you for coming through today. And uh, half an hour into the stream. We're just about to finish game number one. Perfect. Finished historic, I'd say. Give you Amethyst players. True. True, true, true. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Bamba, hello. Many people finished already. Hurry up. Bro, I ain't, I ain't trying to know life this game. I'm not trying to burn out of this game straight away. I'm not trying to... Go 24 hours without sleeping. Couldn't be me. I need my sleep. Um, so, yeah, no. I'm fine doing it at my own pace. And this is the pace that you know, many other people would be going at as well. Like, only playing sort of like two hours a day-ish. You know, people don't have six hours to spend on this day. On this game each day. Like, that's just not feasible for most people. So, a lot of the series you see on YouTube are just completely unrelatable. And I've always ventured to make my content relatable. That's the plan, anyway. Uh, full historic and then all time, but I only did 33 in current Dom. Yeah, I think that's the wave. To be fair, though, I did 58 in, in uh, current because I, I just did forget. I just did forget. Uh, if I don't get next gen, can I still play with my friends that have next gen? I doubt it, David, bro. I doubt it because it's a completely different game, isn't it? With, like, different my player, different park, etc. So, pff, who knows? Nick did it in four days. I don't know who Nick is. But I really don't care how quickly other people do it. I really don't care if they want to know life and not sleep and not eat and be incredibly unhealthy. Then 
be my guest. Amy. Ain't gonna be me. Uh, right. That was historic pro. You just did good. No, that was that was proper historic. That was all star. Superstar. I don't even know what a, I don't even know what the difficulties are these days. But yeah, it was three stars. So yeah, it was good. Uh, shooting better on Dom. I don't know Harco, bro. I ain't trying to take no jump shots. <laughs> I ain't trying to take no jump shots. I'm just trying to get these dubs, bro. So I ain't shooting the ball. I ain't shooting the ball. Right, we're going to have a look at Alonzo Morning's price. Cause I do want to check on that. I do want to check on that. I'm doing all of Historic first and then all time because I know that I'm doing all of Domination anyway. By the time I finish Historic, I'll probably have a better team for all time. Good point, Walking W. Very good point indeed. So we get six tokens right there for completing the first two games. So yeah, you get a lot of tokens, even just in Historic. I vibe with that. I like that. Let's have a look then. So yesterday Alonzo Morning was 50k. Has he gone up or is he about the same? So 59k right there. 54k. Doesn't look like he's gone up too much. 54, 54, 55, 53. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm happy to sell him for that. I'm not going to lie. See you later. Uh, we will go and uh, there we go, guys. Sneak peek at tonight's video. You can see we are selling John Stockton. So if you want a John Stockton, go ahead and pick that one up because why not? Uh, we'll try and get him sold for 50, 53.9. I'd be happy with. I think when we bought him, we bought him for 39k, I think. Adamola, what's good? Welcome to the streams. So yeah, we're going to have a lot of MT coming our way later on. Um, that John Stockton right now is on the cusp of being 100k, on the cusp of being a buyout. So he might not sell first time round. Hopefully he does. We'll have to wait and see on that one. Um, right, let's go into another game. Let's keep these tokens coming through. So we've got 79 tokens right now. And uh, just waiting for the Ruby reward section to get their challenges, really. Because... I don't really want any of the new cards, or, or the current rubies, I don't really vibe with any of those. And let's not forget guys, next season, and this has been confirmed, next season there will be new reward cards in every tier, I think. I'm fairly sure I read that somewhere, back in the courtside reports, I think. So every tier should get new cards, and obviously they might add in uh, some Galaxy Opals as well. So, will Ruby still be usable in two weeks' time? Probably. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm in no rush. Booker, how you doing today, bro? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Thank you for coming through. Uh, Dylan, was good? Nah, no, I ain't mad. I'm chill. I'm chilling and killing, man. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good yesterday. Doing good today. I've already uploaded... Or not uploaded. I've recorded, edited... And I've uh, got a video ready to go already. Um, I've got to do another video after this. And we're going to stream later on tonight. I know what video I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, I know what video I'm going to do Friday. We're, we're, doing, we're, we're moving out here, bro. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. You'd love to see it. I agree, my friend. I agree. Zion, do you want that? No, he didn't want it. You've got to want it. Double upload today. Yes, yeah, sir, Jason. Yes, yeah, sir. We're going to do the normally spent buying uh, Pink Diamond Brown and Roy, and we'll use him. So I think his challenges are Triple Threat Online and Triple Threat Offline. So we'll do those in tonight's video, or do some of them in tonight's video. Uh, and also cashing in that John Stockton as well. We'll see what he's going to sell for. Um, and then we've got a 25k MT Squad Builder as well. Let's get it. Feels good, man. Feels good. Really back. Hey, I tweeted out yesterday. We back, baby. And I'm feeling it, man. I'm feeling it. Okay, I'm not feeling this at all. Reset, reset, reset. There we go, good stuff. Gus Williams, and one, and one. Very nice, very nice. Triple upload on Fridays. I, did I triple upload? I don't ever remember triple uploading. Did I? Did I triple upload on some days? Damn. I remember that. Spooky's out here as well. Spooky's back. I'm back. Spooky's back. Everybody's back. Uh, Julian, how are you today, man? And Spooky, how are you doing? Loved the picture the other day of your car collection. Well, not your car collection. The things you love being the cats, uh, the cat and the cars. Yeah, that, that Mustang, bro. Ooh, that's nice. Um, you did on weekends? Damn, I remember double uploading on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But I don't remember triple. Damn, maybe there was one day when something mad happened. I don't know. But fair play to, you know, past me for doing that. Fair play to pass me. <laughs> Basically, by all the rubies and amethysts of the day they come out. Petite bids, budget squad. 
exposed. Uh, Budget Squad's the way to be, man. Definitely the way to be. I think Amethyst, KD. Oh, yeah, Ray Allen's a great card, and so is KD. Mm, okay, you didn't really do anything there, Gus Williams, bro. I don't know what he's just done there. Uh, all the goats coming through. Facts, Adam Ola. Facts. We need Louis to come through as well. But he came through to Twitch yesterday. So that's chill. Uh, Hans, welcome to the team. Hans, my boy. Amethyst gang. Two month streak out here on the YouTubes. Thanks so much, buddy. Welcome back to the team. Hans, big baller. Yes, sir. It should pop up above the screen. Above me on the screen anytime soon. Hello, YouTube. No, why are you not doing a thing? Oh, I saw Troy Dan tweet out about this the other day, actually, saying that the real, the uh, notifications don't come through. <laughs> Feels bad, bro. Uh, all my real ones here. Yes, sir, Reese. Bro, there's a lot of colours in the chat right now. There's a lot of diamonds. Oh, there it is. Gang. Thank you, Hans. Appreciate you big time, my guy. If anybody else wants to become a member of the channel, uh, in the description, I think it's the second line. And there should be a join button as well. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you very much indeed. Let's get it. Sleepy and Bay. Oh, yeah. Sleepy Floyd's fantastic, isn't he? He's very, very good. I feel like we're not doing well in this one so far. I feel like I'm talking too much. I feel like this Warriors team's actually being half decent at defending. Okay, we're back. We're back, we're back, we're back. I'm also on this Dom grind. Throw in a fake pass on the play before passing. Okay, I will do, Mo. I'll see if that makes a difference. See if that helps out. I think I remember someone saying about that yesterday, actually. Let's go, Gus. 96 speed. He ain't getting caught. You ain't catching him. You ain't catching him. Uh, you shouldn't have an Amethyst on your team unless you're doing challenges. I just got Sky Pippen in there for defense, really. Do I have anybody else here? Nah, I just got Sky in for defense. Sleep for pretty usable. Oh, hands, yeah, definitely. Six foot three, so he's not tiny. Um, and really, really good stats. So sleep floor is definitely usable, bro. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Especially at this point in the game, uh, where you know sizable point guards aren't really like ridiculously overpowered, and there's not too many of them anyway. Um, I don't even know if there are any like tall point guards in the game right now. Are there? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't worry about that right now. I'm just doing Brandon Roy challenges right now. His aren't too bad, are they? His aren't too bad. Oh dear, that was not a fake pass. <laughs> I went to do a fake pass. My my body forgot how to do a fake pass. Little bit embarrassing. But it's fine. Still worked out for the best. <laughs> Still worked out for the best. I completely forgot how to do a fake pass right there. I know how to do them. My body forgot how to do it though. Feels bad, bro. So we'll get it next time. We'll get it next time. Uh, makes it work for you. All right, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We should be good there on the fast break up to Zion. Okay, no, it's Casey Jones. I don't know if he can shoot. To be fair, I don't think he can. Yeah, we'll reset that one. We'll, we'll reset that one real quick. Oh my god, I've I've forgotten how to do a fake pass. Is it square then X? It's shoot then square. It's shoot then X, is it? No, it can't be, can it? I'm so confused. What's fake pass? <laughs> I haven't played this game properly in time, man. It's both? Alright, I'll try it out. Bro, I feel like I've never played this game before. Circle? I just does a bump. Bounce pass. Ah, oh, triangle and circle. Andrew's in the building with the £2 donation. Andrew, how are you doing today, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for coming through. Ah, oh, there we go. Fake pass. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Ah, oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. So it's triangle and circle. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Sebastian, welcome back. He's back. How's it going, buddy? Thank you for coming through today. All right, Andrew, thank you so much. Hans, thank you so much. And thank you so much to everyone for being here today. I appreciate you. I hope the uh, streams are doing a little bit better over today and yesterday. Hope you guys are enjoying them. There are still... Oh, there we go, pops up on the screen. There are still obviously many problems with this game. But 
it ain't gonna change, so we're just gonna have to get on with it. Uh, there's no point crying about it extensively. Well, I already have extensively cried about it. There's no point in continuing to cry about it extensively. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep moving forward. We're gonna go back to what we were doing last year because that worked out brilliantly. Um, we're gonna go back to doing domination because I feel like that is the best thing to do earlier on in the game's life cycle. Um, I do really want to get uh, unlimited done as well, just because of those packs, man. So the Amethyst pack, the Diamond pack, I really want to get those, man. Really want to get those. So I need four more wins to get myself up to the Sapphire level. And I'm going to need six wins to get myself to the Ruby level. I'll need seven wins to get myself to the Amethyst level. And then I'll need eight wins to get to the Diamond level. And then nine wins to get, the, or to get through the Diamond reward. So quite a lot of wins. I think it's about... 25 to get to the Amethyst and then 9 more, so 34 wins in total. 34 wins in total would get me the Diamond Pack and obviously the Amethyst Pack as well, so that would be huge. That would be huge. So, uh, what's that? There's 17 days there for 34, so I need to average 2 unlimited wins per day to get myself yeah up there, so... It, it's not as bad as it was last year. It's just the volume. Like, last year, obviously, it had, it had to be 12 and I had to go unbeaten. But this year, you can lose quite a lot of games. Like, we've only got to win five for the Emerald tier. Like, we can lose seven games. We've already lost two, to be fair. So we can only lose five more. But you get my point. It's really not that bad. So I think 99 stars in uh, throughout Dominations to get the 3,000 XP. And then we'll probably bench Domination after that. Go to Unlimited. Make sure we get the rewards for that before the season changes. Because uh, obviously Unlimited reward... I don't know, actually. Ah, oh, there's so much we don't know about. Like, when the next season comes in, is Dom is uh, Unlimited going to reset? Is everybody going to go back down to the silver board? I imagine they will. So if you don't get the rewards for this season, then you won't be able to get them. There'll be new rewards for next season. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but that's why I really want to make sure I get these rewards while I can. Because uh, that ain't no joke. Andrew, going back to back with another donation. Thank you very much, my friend. I appreciate you being here, buddy. And uh, I hope you're enjoying the positivity like everybody else is as well. Feeling good, man. Feeling good. I said double upload today. And that's the first time in a hot minute we're going to be doing that. So I'm very happy about that. I might make like an unlimited starter squad video. And there's the donation coming through. I might make an un unlimited starter squad video and uh, really, you know, hammer home in that video that matchmaking isn't done on, on divisions. It is done on overall. So you don't want to have a good overall. Like, you could play Domination completely. You could have George Mikan and be a bad player who just runs the same play like I'm doing right here. And then go into online, come up against somebody else who's got a mad team, and then you can get absolutely screwed. So... Yeah, I don't know. I think that's a good video idea. I think that is. Um, Marwin says, like the stream. If Marwin says it, guys, you got to do it. Uh, if you are in here, guys, and if you are enjoying the positivity today and the positivity that all you guys are rocking as well, uh, drop a like on the stream right now. We'll see if we can hit, as usual, up to 100. And for a double upload today as well. Let's get it. Finley, hello. Welcome to the stream, buddy. How are you doing today? Bro, Gus Williams is an animal. Gus Williams is an animal, bro. This guy is so rapid. He he is all you need to complete domination, isn't he? God damn. Obey, hello, welcome to the stream. He is literally all you need. What a guy. And Scotty Pippen in there getting a couple of steals as well. We've got Zion running the fast break. Like, this is this is how domination should be. It should not be stressful. It should be easy. It should be if you put the time in, you get the reward. And that's exactly what we are doing. Army, welcome back to another stream. Have you come through? Missed out on George Mikan by 7MT. Oh, that's got to hurt. Any tips? I don't know this year, to be fair. Just assists and rebounds and blocks. Good defensive possessions. Because they've taken a... Oh, no. The free throws and the threes, isn't it? You've got to have five of those, I think. How um, scored? I'll check after stream, bro. Until the final three games, you need more than Gus. All oh, right, I see what he's saying. I see what he's saying. Up until then, though, he's the guy. He's the man with the plan, and he's doing bits out here. 
first three games have been an absolute breeze with him. They've been fantastic. He's been fantastic. We did use... Oh, no, we used John Stockton for the first one. To be fair, though, I haven't really noticed too much difference between him and John Stockton in terms of just, like, running this play, in terms of, like, productivity. He just do be killing it. Bro, he's just too quick. He's just too quick. Oh, you'll love to see it. So, I am obviously selling my most expensive player, being John Stockton tonight. Let me know in the chat, who is your guy's most expensive player on your team right now? Have you balled out and got a, you know, a 100k diamond card, like a Kyrie, or an Alonso, not Alonso, or a Larry Bird, or a Ben Wallace, or a John Stockton, uh, or have you just got, you know... Budget players, sapphires, emeralds, etc. Who's your most expensive cards? Eric's got Dikembe, who is like 100k right now, but is obviously one of the best centers in the game, especially defensively. Like defensively, you ain't messing with that guy, bro. He comes, you come into his paint, you're going, you're going to get out real quick. Uh, Sebastian's rocking with Big Ben. Devin's got KD. Dylan's got LBJ. Adamola's got Bailey Howell. Very nice. I've still got him as well. I probably need to sell him actually. Mm, that's not a bad shout. I think I'll probably sell him. Hans has got Stockton and Brian and Roy. Jeez. Uh, Marwin's got Kadu, Manu, and Stockton. Yeah, I forgot about Manu. Uh, Habs with Stockton. Walking W with Stockton as well. Maddox with Stockton and Manu. A lot of people rocking John Stockton. And I don't blame you. I don't blame you. He's a, he's so good. Drew's got Bob Cousy. All right, I see you. I see you. Not many people rocking with him. Not many people rocking with that Bob Cousy card. Oh, Zion wants it. But Gus Williams said no. I'm going to take this one all the way. Hey, fair play, Gus. We rate it. Uh, Milkshake's got Brandon Roy as well. Yeah, Brandon Roy's very good. John Stocks is very good. You think, like, it's mad how right now... We we'll have forgotten about it, like, in the future. But right now, they're so expensive. Give it at the end of the game, they'll be, like, three, 4,000 MT. It's mad. Harco's rocking Stockton as well. And PG, I assume that's a diamond PG, so fair play. That's a nice card. I never got... No, did I buy him? No, I did buy him, didn't I, for the challenges, and then sold him off. But yeah, so now my most expensive player is Bailey Howell after selling John Stockton and Alonzo Mourning, but I am going to sell Bailey Howell as well. So then my most expensive player will probably be Gus Williams, who is very expensive, to be fair. He is. Jay was good. Welcome to the stream. I'm doing well, buddy. How are you doing today, man? Thank you very much for stopping by. Yeah, we're doing bits, man. We're doing work. Manny Roy Dikembe bidding on Kyrie, obsessed with XP, says Jesse. All right, Kyrie is still like 150k. Why? If Sure, he's two inches taller than John Stockton, but John Stockton's got like a plus 60 driving dunk. He's got like plus 20 on the defensive stats. Like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. But I guess it's just because he's fresh. New XP challenges. People are trying to get it done. Uh, but yeah, if you're buying a card, just use it. I wouldn't say okay, he's rare. Okay, so maybe not many people open the packs for him, which is understandable, to be fair. I might be why uh, Dikembe is so expensive as well. I might be why he's, he's up at like 100k as well. So I don't know. Uh, Kian, my guy, thank you for coming through. Jason's almost at level 38, 110k XP. Bro. It's absurd. That's absurd. No idea why I sold Webber for 200. Bro, selling him for 200k is huge. If any of you guys have Chris Webber, if you're like Harco and you bought him when he first came out, he was 60k. Harco sold him this morning for 200k. 200k for Chris Webber, like, bro. Mad. Probably would have sold Ben Wallace if he didn't lock in around 100k, so I would say. I wouldn't say you missed out. Oh, you're talking to somebody else? Yeah. That's all good. Uh, Perspective was good. Welcome to the stream. Brandon Roy dunks on everyone. I'm going to find out tonight, Kai. I'm going to find out tonight when I pick him up. He needs... He's triple that online and triple that offline, isn't he? And one. Bro, the amount of our ones is mad. Um, yeah, I think Brandon Roy is triple that online and triple that offline. So in tonight's episode of The Road to Glory, we'll buy Brandon Roy um, and then probably go into a game of triple that online. Because I think... I think... Uh, there's a weekly challenge for the Amethyst level, so the third level of week four challenges, which is three layups with a Pels player in Triple Threat Online. Uh, and obviously, we can use this big fella right here, Mr. Big Zion. So we can use Zion, get three layups with him, and then just score the rest with Brandon Roy. Um, and I think 
Then we'll just need to score with Brand Roy and Trevor the offline, and we'll be set for the Essential Board tomorrow, which is the plan. So let's get it. Level 36, Ascension Board. Have you guys got to that level? I know a couple of you guys have. Eric, I know you had like 40 picks on that board, on the final board, because I was watching. Uh, but yeah, if you got to the level 36 Ascension Board, let me know what did you get. Did you get the Bob Lanier, if you didn't have him already? Uh, Jay, thank you for subscribing to the channel, my guy. For anybody else who's new, be like Jay. And make sure you subscribe for the daily streams and the daily videos, or double videos today. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, if you didn't have Bob Lanier, did you get him? If not, did you get the Amethyst player, which is, of course, like, the most clutch thing you can get because those Amethyst players are still, like, 20, 30k, I think, right now. Like, they're so expensive. So, yeah, that's that's my plan, anyway. If I can just get one Amethyst player on that final or level 36 central board, I'll be really happy. If I get a duplicate Bob Lanier, I ain't gonna be mad at it because it's, like, 5k. No, pink diamond discards, 3k, isn't it? Eh, it's still 3k. It's still not that bad. Uh, perspective was good, man. I'm doing good today. Hope you are as well. Thank you for coming through. Bro, look at Gus Williams. He's doing good. Um, Big Chungus, thank you for subscribing. I didn't get anything besides a uh, diamond contract. Bro, diamond contract's 30k, Jason. That's sick. I'll take that. You got a diamond shoe. Hey, I'll take diamond shoe, diamond contract, anything like that. I'm, I'm chilling with something like that. That'd be brilliant. Uh, playbook is a Mavs playbook. Quick 15 hammer play. Bro, Shaq is a demon in the paint, bro. Yeah, quick 15 hammer play. You're betting off getting a diamond because he was... Oh, yeah, for sure. I don't want another Bobble in here. I'm just saying if he does come out, it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, but, yeah, diamond consumables or an Amethyst player is the dream. You don't really want... I mean, a Ruby player is still not bad because a lot of the current-day Rubies are still sort of like 3K. So that's not... If you get a couple of them, that's not too bad, but... I don't know. I'll just be happy with one pull that's good. So one diamond shoe or consumable um, or one Amethyst player I'll be happy with. Anything less than that is going to be a bit of like meh. Because let's not forget our last Ascension board was completely meh. The last Ascension board was not good for us. I don't know if you guys saw that video, but it was rough, man. I was so excited for it and it was bad. Uh, look at Andrew coming through. My man's three-peated out here today with a fist bump. My guy. Uh, thank you so much for the three-pound donation. Let's get it. My guy. Thank you so much. Um, Road to Curry is on. A hey, shout-out to you, bro. I, ca I can't do the Road to Curry, man. I'm, I'm chilling where I'm at. Zion, you want to catch this lot, big fella? Let's go, big fella. Um, you just need any packs you can get because you might finally get a Bucks player, bro. That's facts. <laughs> that's facts. That's going to stay there forever, isn't it? Seven team run pressing the Dom squad. Sims at the four. Who am I saving MT on? Oh, well, Gus Williams. I guess I could sell him, couldn't I? Because he's expensive. Because the rest of them are all untradeable, pretty sure, anyway. Uh, road to raging in 2K21. Nah, bro, we're chilled today. We're chilled yesterday. We're chilled today. We're a changed man, bro. Hopefully. Uh, this is easy. It's not... Yeah, this is easy. This is this hasn't been too bad at all. Uh, this Mavs playbook doing wonders for me. This team doing wonders. Just a lot of defense. Casey Jones, Scotty Pippen, Zion, Shaq. Bro, they're locking up. Shaq, particularly, is doing bits. Oh, pressing instead of Pippen. My bad. I get confused. Um, yeah, we can get Pippen out. Because I don't... I've only been using him until he runs out of contracts. I think this is a game where he runs out of contracts. Because, yeah, I don't want to be spending, you know, Amethyst's contract. Because that's expansive. Um, have I come across Jojo White, Pierce, and Marcus Johnson? Just did it with stuff. I haven't, Andrew. No, I haven't come up against any of those, to be fair, I don't think. But Pierce would not... Yeah, that would not be fun, would it? That would not be a good vibe. Not a good vibe. What's a good alternative to Shaq for defense? The new Tyson Chandler. Ruby Tyson Chandler, who just came out. Um, you're getting absolutely nothing offensively, but you get nothing with Shaq offensively either. But defensively, you get a whole lot of um, really, really rock solid defense. So Tyson Chandler, I would say. Ben Wallace is 500k. You're lying. Surely not. Surely not. I would hope not. What current day player would you say is the best? It's probably like the Amethyst. You know, Giannis or something. I haven't used any of the Amethyst. But for the Ruby cards, Ruby Damien Lillard, Ruby Paul George. But I don't know about the Amethyst because, like I said, I haven't used them. But going off last year, I would assume that Giannis is, is OP. 
but I don't even know. He's actually going for 572k right now. Bruh. That's absurd. Uh, never pay MT for Amethyst and above. Oh, 100% agree. It's been the same way for a couple of years. Definitely, definitely the way to go. Always buy contracts for Sapphire and below cards with MT and then use actual contract cards on cards that are higher tier. Because that just makes sense. ECK, welcome back. Ben Wallace is too expensive. Bro, that's mad. I'm going to have to have a look at that. I've got to see it to believe it. I've got to see it to believe it. Yeah, that's all he's got. He's got one challenge for 1,000 XP. He does lock in for... Um, who does he lock in for? Is that the Gary Payton set? I think that's a Gary Payton set, isn't it? Uh, and Gary Payton himself doesn't even have that much. I think he's got 1,500 XP. A lot of people do speak very highly of Ben Wallace as an actual card. But at the end of the day, it boils down to the fact he's a 6-9 centre that can't do anything other than defend. Where we've just got Dikembe, who's a 7-2 centre, who can't do anything but defend. And I know which one I'd rather have out of 6-9 and 7-2. So, I don't know, it's a strange one, isn't it? It's a strange one, but people have a lot of MT, and people be done with that MT, let's say. Let's say that. And buying contracts by 20 packs, much cheaper than a vigil. I assume you mean 20 stacks, not 20 packs, because ain't nobody buying 20 packs. No, 20 stacks, I assume. Because, uh, yeah, people, a lot of people don't know about that, do they? That you can uh, list up, you know, whole stack, stacks of items. And they're just not, you don't think to go to that filter. Because, obviously, people always just buy one at a time. Or if they want to buy 10, they'll just go to the filter and just buy 10 at the lowest price. So, yeah. My idea is, Wallace well, is expensive right now, because many people are realising you can attain curry right now, so they're trying to do all XP. Yeah, very possible, Jason. Very possible, bro. I guess they're trying to go back and, you know, get every little challenge done that they can. But I don't know, man. That just seems wild. Why would you do that? Why? Uh, Darius, yeah, Mavs play, but bro. Mavs play, but we're getting to the point where we don't even have to score now. We can just let this clock roll out. The fake pass does wonders. Fake pass of dreams as well. So make sure you fake pass on that uh, on that play, which is just triangle, and then quickly press circle afterwards. Have you really even used Boblin? Is this going? Not really, Sebastian, bro. Not going to lie. Not really. As a pink diamond for offline games, it's expensive to keep him, you know, maintenance and contract up. So I don't really want to be doing that. Uh, and for online games, I can't really use him because I'm, I'm not very good at this game. And if I use a pink diamond, I'm going to come up against other people who have actually got, like, diamond cards, like, of the auction house that are very good. And I'll get absolutely destroyed. So right now, we can't really use him. But long term, I think it's great that I've got him because he is a first owner, or an original owner, sorry. An original owner pink diamond card. And if there's an exchange later on down the line that needs an original owner pink diamond card, you best believe Bob Lanier is going to be straight away gone in that. So that could work out really well for us. So I think long term, it's going to be great. Short term, yeah, I'm chill. He never misses a midi. Ah, bro, I just can't use him in Unlimited because I'll get smoked because I'm not very good at this game. But I don't know. Maybe at some point we'll bring him in. But for now, no. For now, no. And he's not the most incredible stats-wise anyway. Like I think he's got like 65 speed. It's not the most incredible thing in the world. Right, after this game, we're going to have a look at Bailey Howell's price. I'm not sure what it's going at. No, we're going to have a look at Ben Wallace's price first. Because, god damn, I need to see. I need to see this 500k to believe it. Because, god damn, that's absurd. Um, but yeah, I want to check on Bailey Howell's price. Probably going to sell him. Uh, and we'll get Scotty Pippen out of this lineup as well just to save on contracts. And I might get rid of Gus Williams. I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure we can find another... Oh, he's gone now? Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Um, I'm pretty sure we can find another point guard who can just run. Like, doing this play like Gus Williams is. Like, we could probably use the Bobby Jackson. Because he's got, like, 90 speed, doesn't he? So, if we could do that, that saves us another 10k. Like, like I said, I'm just trying to get all my MT now. I just want to get as much MT as I can. I've got a budget squad. Lowry works. So okay, if, if Lowry works, then we can use anybody. Um, I just want to get as much MT as I can. Keep building that up by playing Domination. Go into Unlimited with a budget squad. Get this season out of the way. And then next season, I think that's when we're going to chill. I think next season is when we can uh, really start spending and splashing out a little bit of MT. But for now, I think we need to go into saving. 
Jackson and Park have good speed. Yeah, Jackson definitely come to mind. Um, Tony Parker as well, true. I think I'll prefer Jackson. I've had a bit more experience with him. I don't know, we'll see. Lowry has 88 speed. Oh, yeah, of course, the Ruby, Ruby one. I was thinking of the um, the current day card, but no, the Ruby one. Yeah, we could use Carl Lowry. Clamps as well, true. So if we do need him to uh, do a bit of defense, he's going to be doing that. Yeah, we, we could put Carl Lowry in there. I think, I think Gus Williams is like 12K. So we're getting 100K from John Stockton, 55k from Alonzo Mourning, probably 20k for Bailey Howell, hopefully, and then maybe 10, 15k for Gus Williams. So, you know, like 200k, hopefully, we should have, because we've already got 25k in the bank, so we should have 25k, which, uh, or 100, 200k, sorry, which is not bad, considering we haven't really done too much. We've got 58 stars in current Dom, and then this is our third game in Historic Dom. So this is for nine stars in Historic Dom. So not too much. Not too much. Right, so we're going to come out of this. We're going to have a little switch around of the team. Look at Casey Jones just begging for the ball. Bro, chill. It's the end of the game, buddy. Stop begging it. Look at him. What are you doing? Go away. <laughs> Gus, give me the ball. No. Um, I'm keeping Gus until I get um, Tinu to keep at the high 90 speed. Consider getting Ruby Coach. True. But they're expensive though, aren't they? I don't know if, if their Ruby Coaches are still really expensive, but I know that uh, the Diamond Nick Nurse is like 70k. Aiden, catch you later, man. Thank you for coming through. There we go. Back to back dubs. Easy stuff. Obviously, back to back is offline play, but still, easy dubs are the best dubs. Right, Joe is my guy. Appreciate you watching. Hope you're having a good day. Right, let's have a look at Bailey Howell's price. Let's have a look at Gus Williams' price, and let's get rid of uh, somebody. Sky Piven. Seth feels good. Welcome to the stream. Right. So first of all, we'll just have a quick little look at Ben Wallace, but I think he's already gone. Yeah. So 200k. Look at that. 300k with six hours to go. Bro, people be crazy. I swear. People be crazy, man. Uh, Bailey Howell. Oh, he's actually come down a little bit. Feels bad. Feels bad, bro. Uh, for Gus or Sleepy. I think they're very similar cards, to be fair. See, now I'm thinking, like, is this one actually here or is this one gone? Mace was good. Welcome to the stream. I don't know. Is that one gone? That one looks real. That one looks real. That one doesn't look real. So maybe I'll go for like 18.9. Try and like catch it in the middle. Maybe 17.9 just to be sure. I don't know. We're still... we're still. Is a snipe? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It'll be gone already. It won't be there. Bought mine for like 12k. Bought a long time ago. Yeah, I bought mine a long time ago as well to be fair. Uh, right, I was just going to have a look at Gus Williams, wasn't I? So let's have a look at him. Oh. I swear he was like 15k earlier. I swear he was like 15k earlier. Apparently not. If Tyson Chandler on defence, in my opinion, he's great. Oh, I totally agree, Sebastian. On defence, Tyson Chandler's fantastic. Offensively, you're not getting anything, but defensively, it's fantastic. Ruby Coach? Yes, I'll have a look. So Gus Williams, 8.5k. You know what? That's very good. I'll take it. Let me just do that real quick. I'm still going to take it because when we bought him, I don't think we spent that much. Maybe we did. Maybe we did. I don't know. All right. Let's have a look at coaches then, shall we? So just to show you guys, diamond coaches right now. Uh, Boonhauser is like 30k, but Nick Nurse is genuinely that expensive, bro. That's got a bid of 70,000 MT on it. Bro, people are wild. Almuth's coach is Mike D'Antoni, 50,000. MT. Bruh. Um, oh, I've already got a, a Ruby coach. Yeah, I've got Brett Brown. Not the best one, because he's defense, but it's better than nothing. What's the Ruby coach that gives speed? So balanced is, is speed, isn't it? So Steve Kerr, pace and space, that would probably be a good one. Hmm... Quinn Snyder's defense. 
So I guess it's anybody who's not defense will give you the the speed boost, which would be nice. But I think they're probably like over 10k. Mm, pace and space for Mike Malone. Kerr and Carlisle are the ruby to have. Oh, yeah, well, Kerr's not too bad, to be fair. He's like 7k right there. Uh, Rick Carlisle's at 6k as well. Okay, we can pick one of these up. We can definitely pick one of these up. I thought there were more than that, so I'm not actually mad. 5k. Damn it, imagine. Would have been too good to be true. Sadly not. 6k. Mm. Mike Malone. Pace and space has got to be good, hasn't it? Increases three point and speeds. Oh, it spreads opposition defense. Sacrifice strength and height. Not ideal for isolation players. So that's definitely a three point coach right there. They hurt their rebounding with the negatives. Sacrifice strength and height. I guess so. I guess that's not ideal for the negatives. But then what are the negatives of uh, Kerr and Carlisle? Oh, yeah, solid all round. Okay, so yeah, Carl R's chill, isn't he? Uh, and Steve Kerr. Solid all round, but doesn't excel at one thing. Okay, yeah, so they're, they're good coaches to have, aren't they? Because they don't... Why is he 3K? That's definitely a sum, is it? They don't hurt you in anything, so that is actually good. We'll go with Steve Kerr. Why not? Why not? Bailey Howell sold as well. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Steve Kerr, hello, welcome. So driving layout, mid-range, perimeter D, uh, mid-range, three-pointer, ball control, perimeter D. All right, not bad. Defensive rebounding, perimeter defense, defensive rebounding. All right, Steve Kerr, not bad at all. Hello, welcome. I should probably now sell Brett Brown because I ain't using him no more, and he's expensive. So... I'll take it. Pretty sure that's a snipe. Uh, we'll get him gone for like a two point... I'll just quit my team. Uh, probably like 2.8k, something like that. We'll see, we'll see. I have Diamond Mike Boonhauser. I'm not sure how much of a difference he makes me. Bro, if you don't think he's worth that much, then or does that much for you, then get him sold, bro, because he's expensive. He's expensive. Uh, guys, what are we doing? We need 21 likes for 100k. Why did I just add him to collection? Um, correct. Uh, Logan, you are right, my friend. We need 21 likes for 100, guys. So drop a like on the stream right now. Let's push up to 100 if you get the 100th like. Make sure you get a screenshot and send it to me on Twitter because I'd love to see. So we'll go 2.8 and we'll go 2.7. Hopefully make a little bit of profit off of sniping that one right there. Cool, right. So change around the team. Gus Williams is out. Kyle Lowry is in. Hello, do I have a contract? I think I do. Um... Oh, Jason as well, bro as if. You let me down. Um, who do we have here that we can bring in? Hmm. Uh, Josh was good. If sold everything, how much MT do I have? Probably about 200k, I think. And we'll probably have that, hopefully, by late on tonight. Hopefully, hopefully. I want to try anyone else here. Theo Ratliff would probably be alright, wouldn't he? Yeah, uh, no, I want to keep with Shaq. Shaq's doing Shaq's doing bits, so I'm I'm gonna stick with Shaq. I'm gonna stick with Big Shaq. Okay, so that's not a bad team right there. I'm chill with that. Uh, Ellie was good. Hello, welcome, welcome. Uh, it happens. I can't lie. It is chill. Nine more people. Nine more people drop a like on the stream right now, and uh, we'll get that hundred, which would be perfect. Oh yeah, Ben Simmons. Let's get him in there. There we go. There we go, lovely stuff. Um, I'm going to keep the trend with your coach. Took a white in. I did have Dan Tony, yeah, but he's expensive right now, bro. I can't deal with that. He's too much, man. He's too much. Right, let's get into our third game out here. We should have just set ourselves up nicely for a lot of MT to come through later on tonight. Oh, one like to go. One like. Everybody drop a like on the stream right now. One more to go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much indeed for the support. Let's go ahead and let's get another dub, shall we? We shall. So, in about an hour and a half time, guys, so about half six BST, uh, the 25k MT squad builder will be going live. Then we're going to be live on Twitch. 
Let me just put the uh, Twitch link in there. Twitch.tv slash Jay Nelson Crossover. We live over there about half seven or eight o'clock. Oh, 2K have just dropped a locker code. Random. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so this is a new locker code that's just come out. That one right there. Uh, and it's just for a pack of the Lakers and the Heat. 2020 player. Not bad. Hey, Andrew, welcome to the squad, my friend. Welcome to the team. Amethyst, uh, Amethyst, oh, saw, saw the wrong colour. Ruby Gang has a new member. Thank you very much for joining, buddy. And uh, you've been out here supporting for a minute now. So appreciate that, dude. And now you're looking very nice in the chat with your icon. Let's get it. Um, and just when a new uh, locker code came out, so hopefully that gives you some luck in that locker code. Of course, with the Heat and the Lakers one, you can get yourself LeBron, you can get yourself AD. Could you get yourself a Jimmy Butler? Not bad, everyone aim for Lakers. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. The only pack you want to get is a Lakers pack, because uh, you get the chance at LeBron or an AD, which would be big. You don't really want the Heat pack, not gone lie. So we'll put that in... Uh, we'll put that code in in tonight's video, which is perfect. Why have they released it at 5 o'clock? They never usually drop codes at this time. I mean, I ain't complaining, but they never usually release codes at this time. But, hey, whatever. You do you, 2K. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Right, let's get going out here with Kyle Lowry running the offense now. Just about. Just about. Kyle. Let's go, Ka. Very nice, very nice. I'm going to get a bronze regardless. Facts. Oh, I mean, there's no way I'm getting a Bucks player out of that, is it? Why couldn't the Bucks play? <laughs> Why couldn't the Bucks got to the finals so I could have got a guaranteed Bucks player? No. That would have been perfect, but no. Uh, Kai got Avery Bradley. Not ideal. Let me know what you're getting out of this locker code pack, guys. NBA finals player. It's a brand new code. Lakers pack or a Heat pack. Obviously, aim for the Lakers pack. I don't know what the board's looking like. Adam's got a bronze Udonis Haslim. Sebastian got Kuzma. Oh, there's Andrew joining the squad like a G. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you very much. Defensive three. Whoopsie. Sorry. Oh, we're playing against the Lakers right now as well. Niall got Udonis Haslam as well. Damn, everybody's getting Haslam, apparently. Everybody on Haslam. D12 would be nice. Oh, that's facts, Jesse. Yeah. D12 would be nice because he's like 10k, isn't he? Lakers is what you want to aim for, guys. Lakers is what you want to aim for. Uh, they added LeBron, Jimmy, and someone else. They did, Eric. They are limited rewards for this weekend. I think they're in the limited section. Fairly sure they are, anyway. I think that's what I saw people tweet out. Uh, where do I need to go? MTDB. Because 2KDB still doesn't work for me. It hasn't worked for ages. Yeah, so there's a free agent LeBron, uh, and then there's a Sapphire limited rewards LeBron, a Sapphire Jimmy Butler limited rewards, and then, yeah, a free agent LeBron. So I can only assume they're going to do what they did with Jason Tatum, which is release a locker code during one of the games of the finals, um, which gives everybody a free agent LeBron James card. Now, the problem is, when they did that with Jason Tatum, the code was only active for, like, two hours. So I went to bed... And it didn't, it wasn't live, like the game hadn't even started yet. I woke up and the code had already expired. And I was like, ah, cool, nice. Um, so yeah, I assume that LeBron card will be another, you know, here it goes for everyone if you are awake at the right time. Not sure they'll be in limited tourney. I imagine it'll be um, similar to what we had last week. Who was it last week? Damon Stoudemire. I imagine it'll just be a random thing. I imagine it would be a random thing, whether or not you get him. Um, oh, Airball, my guy with the 100th like as well. Thank you for sending that to me on Twitter, bro. Love to see it, love to see it. Search up on 2KDB. Yeah, maybe I just got a duff link or something. I don't know. Go Mech, hello, welcome to the stream. It always used to work for me, so I don't know why it doesn't anymore. 2K Dubber. Oh yeah, there we go, it works. Why does that not work going straight for my... Oh, they've changed to .NET. I had 2kdb.pw for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the Sapphire LBJ is limited. Yeah, 
but the card do be trash. Uh, Corden, hello, welcome to the stream today, buddy. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, so this LeBron James card that's going to be in Limited this weekend. Uh, let's have a look at him. So, 71 mid, 71 three, 75 speed, 70 rebounding, 75 ball control. It's just, it's just a bad card. Like, there's nothing really good at it. It's got 31 bronze badges, which is a lot, but... Um, Andrew, good luck, bro. Hope you get Caruso that you're looking for. The Caruso. Am I right? Um, <laughs> I code was active to close to 7 8 hours. It came out at 2 a.m. Yeah, I might have slept in that day. But still, why well, can't they be 12 hours? I don't know. I don't have to wake up early just for the chart. Because I didn't know that it was coming out. I oh, know we did know it was coming out. But I didn't know that it was going to be timed like that. But I don't really mind. The free agent card, obviously I don't care about at all, but the fact they gave out a pack alongside it, I missed out on a pack. That could have been my pack with a bronze uh, with a bronze card, with a box player in it. Who knows? So I'll be a little bit more attentive when they uh, when they announce this next one. We'll see. Scots! Hello! That is a good name to see pop up. How are you doing, buddy? Welcome to the stream today. Hope you're doing well. Do I play 2K off stream? Not lately, I have, no. Last year? Uh, yes, a lot. Uh, like, a lot, a lot, a lot. And this year, no. But I'm getting back into it. I'm definitely getting back into it from where I was uh, sort of like last week. So, feeling good. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. But look at Kyle Lowry. Damn, Kyle is absolutely killing it. Yeah, Gus Williams, you can go. Gus Williams, get out of here, bruh. Get out of here, man. We don't need you. We don't need you. Uh, Going to stream 2K on Twitch again? It's definitely possible. Uh, when we get back into a, into a rhythm of things... We can definitely do that. Let's go Ben Simmons over to Carl Lowry. He wants a three. Psych. Oh dear, Casey, what have you done? What are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? They gave out an East tip off pack. Oh yeah, exactly. Smiths would have been nice because Smiths is expensive. He's like 9k right now. If you've got a Rick Smiths that's hanging around in your club, he's gone very expensive. He's gone very expensive. Favourite card art so far this year? Um, I don't even know. I like the ones that came out yesterday. They were pretty cute. I need to see them all. Oh, that doesn't show them all in a list, does it? The one will rise back to back with meh. So my ball it is. Playoff diamonds were meh. I didn't really like that set. The glitch set weren't bad, to be fair. Glitch set weren't bad. Like I said, I like the ones that came out yesterday. I think they look really, really clean. Yeah, I think so far. Rose like 80k. Jeez. Um, oh, I forgot to do anything. Look at Carl Lowry, bro. I didn't have to do nothing there. He just turned on the turbo and he was out. Lovely stuff. Uh, the more domination whites going off of this patch? I don't know because I ain't shooting threes. But I do know that it does feel a lot easier. Um, defensively, it feels like the AI aren't ridiculously OP. Um, and they're not making crazy shots. They're not making crazy ridiculously contested shots. I feel like I can knock them down reasonably straightforwardly. You know, we're, we're winning this 24 to 9. The last few games have won by like 40 points. It's perfect, bro. What am I trying to do with Larry? I ain't doing nothing with him, bro. I ain't doing nothing with nobody. I'm just getting my wins. Zero points in the last two and a half minutes. Sucks to suck. Yeah, I'm just getting my wins, bro. Um, to be fair, with Carl Lowry, we have actually done all of his XP challenges. But I'm just using him because he's a good card. Um, obviously, untradeable. Doesn't cost me any MT to keep him in the club. So that's why. That's why. What's well, code? NBA Finals Player. Ooh, not quite. Uh, did I give up on Curry Grind? Yes. Because, no, I'm not doing that. It's too much. It's too much. I'm literally just over halfway, and I feel like I did so much. It's ridiculous. Uh, trip of the offline. So much more enjoyable now. Maybe consider going from Marbury. Pff, I don't know. With 17 days left, Marbury's 200 wins. Isn't he? 200 wins? Yeah, because Isaiah Ryder's 100. Starbreeze 200, and then D12 is 300. Uh, pff, nah, that's too much for me, bro. That's too much for me. I, like, I want to focus on Unlimited because you can get the Amethyst Pack, the Diamond Pack. That's a lot of MT. So, focus is for Season 1. 99 stars in Domination, which we should do very, very straightforward. Um, and then, yeah, up to at least the Amethyst board. That's my plan. And obviously get to level 37. 
So get the diamond contract. That's the plan. If I could do all that, I'm going to say season one has been a big success. And if we can come out with sort of like 300k, 400k maybe, then we're going to be sitting very, very pretty moving forward. And we did the exchange. We've got loads of badges. Bro, I've got so many badges that I haven't sold yet because I know they're going to go up in price. I've got gold range extender. I think I've got gold dimer. Like they, they really, really expensive badges right now. Um, and they're only going to get more expensive, I think. So if I really did need more MT, I could get it, but I don't need it. So I'm not going to. I'm going to hold on, wait till I need to, uh, and then go from there. There is account on an account on Twitter who puts up the prices of diamond shoes and diamond and, and badges as well, which is actually really, really helpful. And yeah, apparently the price of diamond shoes went up like 100%, not 100%, uh, quite a lot over the last couple of bits, couple of days, or the week or so. Let's have a look, see if I can find it. Um, wow, I tweet a lot, don't I? Wow, I tweet a lot. I need to stop, don't I? Oh, there we go. So the gold, yeah, so range extender is the most expensive badge in the game. It's like 9,000. Clamps is like 5,000. Quick first step, 5,000. Corner specialist, 5,000. Flexible release is 5,000. Dead eye, 4.5. Intimidator, 4, 4.5 as well. They're all the gold ones. That's expensive. So you can make some big money. And then also for diamond shoes. So last week, the average shoe price was 7,500. And this week, it's 8.3. So it is going up. There's four shoes that are over 25k or are in and around 25k. Um, and the cheapest diamond shoe right now is sort of like 2,600 MT. Average, yeah, 8,000. So prices are on the up. Prices are on the rise. Code of the vid today? Yeah, I'll put the code in in tonight's video for sure. How do you beat all-time Dom? I don't know. I'm not there yet, bro. Not there yet, Jay. But, uh, oh, Shaq, what's happened, bro? What are shorts doing? Hopefully, we can do what we're doing here and win there, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What's the app? Oh, I've just shut it down. I'm not sure, actually. Flocky, I think. Something like that, I think. I have a three-point speed. Ball shoe, steel shoe. Home goes like 6K later on in the year. Adam Ola, bro. I've got a few that are really, really nice that I hope are going to get ridiculously expensive later on. I've got two diamond three-point shoes. One of them's a curry shoe, and the other one is a Kyrie shoe, I think. And they both should go very high. So, fingers crossed. Stockton's price going to skyrocket when he leaves the market? Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that, because mine's up for sale right now, Kai. Because <laughs> I want to buy the Brandon Roy, because I think Brandon Roy's price is going to go up higher as well. So, I kind of want to be able to buy Brandon Roy while I can. So, I guess for me now, it kind of makes sense to do it, but... Yeah, cheapest gold range is 13k? Damn. See, that's I'm kind of like, do I sell for that or not? No, I'm not going to sell for that. I feel like they'll go more expensive throughout the year. If it hits like 20k, I'm, I'll chill with that. If it hits like 20k, then bruh. That's mad. Um, the crazy you mentioned earlier, all those expensive diamonds are going to be like 3 4k mad. Yeah, the, the market just changes so quickly. And uh, we will see that. The start of the game is obviously quite slow. But when things pick up pace, it picks up pace. Shaq, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? I wish you could take your cards off the auction house. There should be an option if you want to cancel an auction within the first hour. I'd say there should be an option for that. If it gets to, like, you know, two, three hours in, then sure, just let it be. But if you put up a card by mistake or if after, like, the first half an hour you realize it's not going to sell, there should be an option to cancel it. I don't see why there isn't. I really don't see why there isn't, but then again, we still don't have the option to list up for an hour, so there's also that. Uh, EastK, welcome back, and Gbath, appreciate you putting the locker code in the chat for everybody to put in. Did anybody get anything half decent off of that? I haven't heard anybody say they got anything good, so I'm not expecting anything. I'm expecting a bronze Udonis Haslam by the, by the way I've been seeing people putting him. That's what I'm expecting to get, but hey, it's better than nothing. At least it's a guaranteed pack rather than, like, a chance at the pack. At least it's guaranteed. So I'm chill with that. I've been saving all promo cards. Remember Newt Bowl? Yeah, true, true. Remember him? He was very good. It's, it's probably a good idea, but I don't know. I just am obsessed with having liquid MT. I'd much rather have 
I'd much rather have my MT in the club rather than sitting in, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot of players. Kyle? Oh, I'll beat the buzzer, Kyle. Good lad. Good lad. All right, lovely stuff. It's an original line of bronze. I mean, that's true, isn't it? That's true. That's the way you got to look at it. Whatever card you get, guys, it's an original owner, uh, either Heat or Lakers player. And I think there is an exchange, actually, that does need Lakers players. Correct me if I'm wrong. For James Sillis, maybe? No, James Sillis is going to be Spurs players. Bob Cousy is going to be for Lakers players, I assume. I think so. Bob Cousy, yeah, I thought so. What does he need from Lakers? I can't remember exactly, but I know he needs a couple of them. Maybe that'll make more people inclined to go ahead and get him done. Oh, it's three Amethysts from the Lakers? Bruh, that's absurd. Hell nah. Damn, that's expensive. Jeez, because that is just AD and LeBron, isn't it? So, Jesus, they, they didn't mess about with that. If you did Bob Cousy, then GG. It's two still. If you did Bob Cousy, GG. Definitely, definitely not me. Definitely not me. I am hoping that next season's exchange actually has cards that are really like worth going for. Because this season, we've got the James Sillis, which is meh. Got the Bob Cousy, which is also meh. And the rewards are just way too high. Uh, or the requirements, sorry, are way too high, in my opinion. The diamond contract this season was fine. You could make a profit off of that. But realistically, the exchange, I'm just thinking like from FIFA. If you did SPCs, the majority of them, if you did them well, if you did them correctly, you'd make profit on every single one of them. And that's kind of how it needs to be with these exchange things as well. So we'll see how they do in Season 2. I'm just glad it's in the game right now because I think it's a great part of FIFA. And I think they should just keep making it more and more a part of 2K. Like, FIFA do them, like, weekly, they add in new SBCs. Like, that's where we need to get to. Whether or not we will get to that point, I don't know. But we will see. It's 24-hour code. There you go. 24 hours, you've got to put that new code in, guys. So uh, make sure you get on it before it goes. Might as well get yourself a free card, a free original owner card. You know, because they don't come around very often. Let's be real. Who's that? Trevor Reza for three? Very nice. Very nice. Um... Let's have a look. You've got Dion Waiters from the local code. Can't get them because everything is original owner and I don't open packs. Exactly, man. So at least you get one from this pack, which is not bad. I put Big Ben in the exchange for Koozie at the beginning of the game, Sebastian. Oh! Oh! Oh, that hurts. That hurts, bro. My man put away Ben Simmons, who is uh, Ben Wallace, who is now 500k. Oh, Sebastian, I'm sorry, bro. Uh, Kyrie got KCP out of the locker code, bro. Ain't nobody getting anything out of this code. Maybe we are going to be the only person who gets LeBron James. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Be crazy. It says ends 10 of the seventh. Let me have a look. Uh, locker code. Yeah, it expires on the 10th. Why does someone say it's a 24-hour code? I don't know. Um, so, no, the codes are there until the 10th of uh, October, guys. So, you chill. 10th of October, the code comes out or goes away. So, you got plenty of time. Loads and loads of time. Ice Cream got Udonis Haslam as well, bro. Everybody's getting Udonis Haslam. TFG got Quinn Cook. I'm, okay, I'm not expecting anything out of this pack. I'm not going to lie. Is it easy to get the Lakers pack? Or is it kind of just like 50-50? Or is it, you know, straightforward to... Please make that pass. To make sure you get the Lakers one. Let's see if anybody else got anything on Twitter. Anybody else? Anybody else? <laughs> Shake got Markeith Morris. All right, so you literally only get one card from it? I thought it was a proper pack. But it's not. It's literally just one player. Oh, yeah, it does say one card on it as well, to be fair. Uh, so there's only one card. Uh, Lakers on left, Heat on the right. Oh, brilliant. So you can just decide which one you want. You pick a side. Oh, fantastic. Well, yeah. If we don't get the Lakers and we're aiming for it, then that's a GG. <laughs> if we don't get the Lakers and we're aiming for it, then I don't even know what to say. 
So we should be good on that. Oh, look at this. You can literally just run round. Easy. And that's with Carl Lowry. It's not even like Gus Williams type of speed. He dropped on left and got heat. Bro, that's what I'm saying. That could happen if you get really unlucky. Uh, but hopefully we don't. <laughs> hopefully we get what we aim for. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty chill. That could be nice. But either way, we're going to get a lot of MT coming our way tonight in uh, the Nobody Spent episode, which is going to be good. I'm chill with that. we got Butler. Not bad. His price will obviously take quite a hit today. But before today, I think he had quite a bit of value. I think he was sort of like 5,000 MT, which really isn't that bad. Really isn't that bad. I'd take anything, really. Even if it's just a bronze card, I mean, it's better than nothing. And like people have been saying, original owner cards this year, they, they're going to be hard to come by for us people who don't open packs. So anytime 2K give out a card for free, I'm, I'm down for it. Regardless if it's one, if it's a bronze card, I don't care. As long as I get it, I'm happy. So, yeah, regardless of what it is, it don't matter. If it's going into a, an exchange, I, I don't care. I can see it in my club. It can chill. That's why I said about the Bob Lanier as well. Pink Diamond, not using him, but it doesn't matter. He's an original owner card, and later on in the year, there's going to be exchanges that require Pink Diamonds. Probably original owner Pink Diamonds as well. So, if that comes around, or when that comes around, we are sitting pretty, bro. We are going to be laughing, because Bob Lanier is going to be straight out of that door. Uh, is it just me or 2KDB not work? I had that as well, Bacon. So they've changed from 2kdb.pw. It's now 2kdb.net. So that's where you're going wrong, bro. Because that's what I was. That's where I was going wrong. Shahar, hello, welcome to the stream today, buddy. How are you doing? Thank you for coming through. Uh, you got Lakers pack. Very nice. Very nice. How are you today, Shahar, my guy? This is our third historic domination game of the day. Looking like our th third win of the day. Let's be real. Uh, and we've already recorded one video. 25k MT squad builder will be coming out later on tonight. Uh, and then we'll have another episode of the Nomi Spent a lot later tonight as well. Let's get it. Double upload. Double stream as well, because we'll be live on Twitch. Bro, we're doing everything out here, man. We're doing everything out here. Uh, do I give up on Curry 2? I'm running on 90k. I, I probably would, Adam Ola, bro. Not going to lie. Um, there's just not enough rewards. If there were progressive rewards in those final in that final 50,000 MT, then sure, or 1,000 XP, sure. But there's not. There's not. So, yeah, 2K on Twitch, probably not tonight, probably Fall Guys again tonight. Um, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We do need to start making progress on this, though. The same left mark? Yeah, I saw that, bro, that's chill. I'm going to put that in in tonight's video. We'll cash in John Stockton, we'll cash in Alonzo Mourning, cash in Bailey Howell and Gus Williams. We'll put the locker code in, we'll buy Brandon Roy, we'll take Brandon Roy into a game of Triple Threat Online. We'll also use Zion to get three layups as a Pels player in Triple Threat Online. So it's going to be an action-packed episode tonight, guys. So make sure you're coming through for that one. Uh, one Hall of Fame badge for level 39. Exactly, man. And level 38 is 25 tokens. I mean, that's that's the worst one. That's the worst one. You're going for Curry? now? not at all, bro. Not at all. Uh, Prabo? No, I see you, bro. I see you. 30k shoes. That's a W, bro, for level 36. That's a W. That's not an N. That's a W. If I get that tomorrow, I'm gonna have to be I'm gonna have to be happy because I've seen people like Eric. Sorry, bro. Sorry to bring it up again. I've seen people like Eric not get 30k's worth of value from his level 36 essential board. So if I get that, I'm chill. Uh, Salus, hello. How are you doing, buddy? Welcome to the stream today. Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you stopping by. Diamond contract from Diamonds Consumer and Amethyst player. Yeah, Amethyst player is clutch, bro. And with this player in Diamond Consumable, if you get a Diamond Consumable and it's Nick Nurse, whoo, you're making like 80k. Imagine. That'd be huge. Uh, why are you doing XP challenges if you think going for Curry? I'm not. What XP challenges am I doing? I'm not doing any of them. I'm literally just trying to win the games, bro. I'm just trying to win games. I'm going to be doing... The uh, Brandon Roy challenge is because he's like the easiest 2.5k that you can get. Just so I can get the essential board tomorrow, that's all. Just for a video for tomorrow. Because um, obviously like Thursday is no content day. But yeah, just so I can get the essential board that little bit quicker, bro. That's that's basically what that's for. But yeah, I'm not... After that, it's like... 
I need another 10k for the diamond contract. I'm not going out of my way for that. I'm not going out of my way for that. Not going to happen. We'll get there naturally, maybe, depending on what 2k do with the XP throughout the rest of this season. But there's no rush. Diamond contracts are always going to have their value. They're not going to go down too much. not going to up, go up too much. Um, if they do spike like mad and go up to like 40k, then I'd probably rush and get it done. But nah, I'm chill. I'm chill. I'm going to make sure I've got loads of uh, MT so I can just buy any players that come out that have like a ridiculous amount of XP, like the John Stockton, who uh, came out and had three and a half thousand XP to his name. Three and a half K? It's absurd. So yeah, I definitely want to make sure I've got a good like pool of MT to play with, should I need to. That's my plan anyway, bro. That's my plan. If I was in the NBA and I dunked on someone, what would I do? Help them up and shake their hand, stare them down or step over them. <laughs> Depends if I like them or not, I guess. Um, I'd say more, I don't know. I'm trying to put myself in the position of an NBA player. It's a completely realistic scenario. Because um, I think these days, they, they you don't, or they wouldn't want like helping up. And obviously you can't shake hands. But I don't, I don't think they'd want helping up anyway. I think probably just the stare down. I think probably just the stare down. The step over is a little bit too much. Unless you like really don't like the guy. I think the step over is too much. But I think the stare down is just like, yeah, that's what I did. And what. But if he's like someone who's chill, then you probably help him up. I don't know. Um, in Historic Dom, are most point guards bad? Pfft, no idea, bro. That's a, is that a bronze point guard they're running? But they've had Diamond Magic Johnson out here, so. I don't know. We're winning quite comfortably, so that's all I know. I know that we're doing pretty well. Uh, Shahar's reached the 100th win in the offline. GG, bro. We got Isaiah Ryder. Very nice. I've heard he's not the best, but still, you're making good progress. If you're going for Starbury, you're halfway there, so that's a dub. Uh, and you've got 144 stars in domination as well. GG. You're a lot further along in this game than I am, that's for sure. <laughs> you're way further along than I am. I ain't even close to that. I'm not even halfway to that. Jesus Christ, I'm not even halfway. Damn. Oh well, oh well. Spurs players are so hard to snipe. Are they really expensive still because of the Bob uh, James Silas thing? If they are, I need to check if I've got any in my club. Carl Lowry's been good. Wait, what? He's got five points? Oh no, 50 points. I was going to say. Carl Lowry with a 50 point outing right here. Not bad. Good showing from Lil Ka. He's got four rebounds as well. One of his XP challenges would get five rebounds, and I struggle with that. This game, he's got four, and I haven't even noticed him getting four. And I didn't even try and get any with him. It's wild how you can really try and force challenges. And when you force them, it just doesn't happen. So, I'm sure he doesn't know how to shoot, but he has 95 driving nuts. True, dunking is Isaiah Ryder's bread and butter. We're still missing the open mid-ranges, but it is what it is. But yeah, I've heard that he's not the best. Because when the game first came out, I saw him and I was like, damn, that could be someone to go for, like, straight away. And then I've, I very quickly realised... He's not someone to go for straight away. He's not a good vibe at all. And that's how we ended up with... Well, we've got 35 to the offline wins. It's really not that many, is it? Really not that many. But oh well. I'll get myself up to 40. We're going to get the Deluxe League pack. And then that's, that's going to be me done for Season 1. Because after that, it's... 50 wins is Kenny Walker, the Ruby card, which is meh. And there's 100 wins for the... Yeah, there, right? uh, Mark got Bob Lanier on the first essential board. Very nice. It's all downhill from there. Bro, I think I got mine on the first or second. And then it's been all downhill from there. The last, last essential board I had was so bad. So I'm really hoping tomorrow can be better. I really hope. Anyway, that is our third win of the day. Lovely stuff. Making progress in historic domination. Making moves, making moves. So one more completes our first division. And obviously like along the way, we're getting so many tokens. It's absolutely perfect. Is a 83-3, but shots are so difficult. Yeah, that's what, like I said, that's what I've heard, man. He ain't the guy. He ain't the guy. Right, let's have a look and see if things have sold. We have Gus Williams up. We have Bailey Howell up. We're up to 85 tokens. Let's get it. Bro, we've just got so many things right there. So we need one more win for 12 more tokens. Lovely stuff. Uh, so we've got six packs to open up tonight. Well, they're all just uniforms, aren't they? So... Might as well open up these now, to be fair. 
Because there ain't no point in doing this later on. Well, I don't know. Maybe there is. Uh, we'll save it for the video. Um, who hasn't sold? John Stockton's got 48 minutes left. Ooh. Alonzo Morning hasn't sold. Gus Williams hasn't sold. But Bailey Howell and uh, the Hawks playbook did. Mm, I don't know if he's going to sell for 100. Is he a buyout now or nah? Let's have a look. He's not, but he's going to be very close to it. I'm pretty sure he is anyway. Um, so, right, guys, there we go. That is three W's out of the way. Uh, 63 out of uh, 99 stars needed for those 3,000 XP points. Lovely stuff. And, uh, yeah, still this 3,000 XP needed for tomorrow for the Essential Board. Let's get it. So, today, two videos. First video coming in about an hour's time. Um, and that is going to be the 25k MT squad builder and then the second video which will be a, quite a bit later on tonight will be me buying pink diamond brand and Roy because right now he isn't too expensive he's still under 100k I think he's like 90k which isn't too bad so I'll pick that up get his challenges done and uh, we'll put in the locker code as well and hopefully we will get something good in that so have a great evening, guys. Hopefully catch you guys on Twitch as well. Twitch.tv slash JD underscore crossover. We'll be live over there in a bit. I'll see you guys later. And peace.